Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Good evening. Nice. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, wh what's your name? My name is Yin Tian. I will. I can spell it to you. Yeah. And okay. English name is John. Yeah. Can you spell it on the chat box, please? Oh, it's John. So that would be your English name, right? Yeah. Yeah. What about your your real name? Real name is Tian. Okay. Oh, so how do we pronounce that? Nguyen Nhat Thien. Nguyen Nhat Thien. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, how old are you, Thien? I'm 10. 10 years yes. old. Okay, so I would be your teacher. My name is Teacher Harji. Do you know me? Yeah. Okay, oh, no. so this is how am I going to, I'm going to spell it, okay? So this is my name, so you can call me. Be sure, Harji. So that's my name, okay? Yeah. Can you pronounce it? Teacher Harji. Harji. That's right. Okay. So again, you are. Uh, what am I going to call you? Am I going to call you Tian or am I going to call you John? John. Which do you prefer? Uh, it's John. Okay. So I have to call you John. Okay. Yes. Okay. So where do you come from? Oh, I am from the Philippines. What about you? I'm from Vietnam. Yeah, so you're you're from Vietnam, okay? So I am from the Philippines again. Nice to meet you, uh, John. And I would be your tutor every how many times? I hope you can still remember how many times that we're going to meet. Three times a week, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you forgot it already. Okay. Now allow me to share with you my screen, John. Okay, for a while. Okay. So here is the screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, are you able to see the screen, John? Yes. Okay, very good. So, what it was written on the screen, John? Uh, unit one. Okay. Personalities. Character. Yeah, okay. So, it says in that particular uh, slide, okay, the first slide that we're going to have would be a unit one, and it's all about personalities. You know what is a personalities mean? Yes, it's a, uh, uh, it's a uh, people. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> oh, and yeah. This is, that is how the, uh, the people like yeah, on the street, right? Like, okay. Uh, hello, or, or yeah. we'll be rude, right? Yeah, okay. Actually, when we say personality, or personalities, we can call that one as a character, okay? Your yeah. character within and your character outside. So inside and outside. So that would be your, that makes your personality, okay? Yes. Okay, so in other words, that is a character, okay? Yeah. Okay, so... Why personalities? We are going to study all about the personalities. That's why the topic in Unit 1 is all about personalities. So we are going to learn a lot of personalities. So you have your own personalities. I have my own personalities. And they have their own personalities. So we do have different personalities. Did you get, did you get what I mean? What I mean? Yes. Yes, very good. You have a unique personality. I know that. I have also mine, and they have also, okay, a lot of personalities, meaning a lot of character, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, to, to, to begin, of course, we are going to um, tell first the overview of our lesson. So, the first thing would be a vocabulary. So, you know what is a vocabulary? 
No, yes. Okay, what is that? When you say vocabulary. New words. Yes, to have to learn a new world, a new world, new words here. Here, okay, it's all about vocabularies of personalities and adjectives so we are going to learn them okay and then the second one would be okay, grammar. grammar okay do you know what is a grammar mean a grammar means that how can we uh, how can we say a, a, a sentence okay Correct. you know actually a grammar would be how a sentence form okay and yes. then the one which you said while ago is all about speaking. Because if you can uh, can be able to create a sentence grammatically correct, so you can be able to speak that. Okay? So create first a sentence using the different techniques such as present simple, present continuous. Okay? Can you read present simple? Present simple, present continuous. Wow. Okay. So you are a Vietnamese, right? Yes. But you can be able to speak um, fluently, huh? <laughs> how, how, uh, you're, you're 10 and you are studying, of course, right? I studied English when I like, when I'm in grade 2. Oh, really? So you started studying English when you were in grade two. That's why. So how, what's your grade now? You are in what level? Um, now I'm um, A2, but I'm, I'm studying with B1. Ah, B1. So that's why. Okay. So you are learning to become uh, equipped when it comes to the skills when it comes to English, okay? Congratulations for that, huh? Because I can sense that you can be able to speak the language fluently, okay? So we just yeah. have to improve a little bit maybe. That's why you are here, okay? And then the last but not the least for unit one would be the speaking, okay? So you know what is speaking, right? The one which we are doing now, we are, we are, Making? Making. What? Speaking. Yeah, we are speaking, actually. So when we say speaking, of course, we are going to study about how are we going to describe one's personality because our topic for today is all about personalities. So when we say personalities, what does it mean? Of course, we can say it's an adjective. So what are those adjectives? So we are going to learn them. Are you excited to learn them? Yes. Yes, very good. Okay, so moving on. Moving on. So let's have a warm-up activity first. So can you tell me how was your day today? Mm, so I, go, I went to school today because uh, I, I went to school. Okay, aside from you went to the school, what did you do today? So, so I, I studied and then I take, a rest, I take a rest at my home. Okay, have you able to do your homework already? Mm, no. Not yet. Okay, why? Because I'm learning this. Okay, so you are going to learn English first. And then right after this one, you are going to, to do, do your homework. Very good. Okay. Do you think you are a friendly person? Yes or no? Do you think you're a friendly person? A friendly? Yeah, friendly. Friendly person. So do you um, think you are a friendly person? Yes. yes or no? Oh, very good. Why? Why is it you said that you're a friendly person? Because I made a lot of new friends in my in my class. Oh, really? So you have a lot of friends. That's yeah. why you are friendly. Okay. Okay. So again, uh, John is a friendly person. So we can say that one, okay? So when we say friendly, what does it mean? So we are going to discover now what 
is the word friendly. Okay? Okay. So, do you have questions with regards to this one, John? Yes. Nothing? Do you have or nothing at all? Nothing for at this point in time. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's move on now. So we are going to study now the word vocabulary. So in this particular vocabulary, we are going to study the opposite adjective. So when we say adjectives, what does it mean? Do you have any idea of what is an adjective? Adjective is a people's personality. Yeah, of course. It's all about the personality of a person. It's all about the character of a person. It's all about color, okay? What makes a color? Because when we say adjectives, it's a describing word, okay? We can be able to describe a lot of things. We can be able to describe a pronoun. So those describing words are called adjectives. In an adjectives, can you say adjectives? Adjectives. Very good. Okay. So when we say adjectives, we have the so-called opposite. So when we say opposite, what does it mean? It's the it's the other way around, right? Just like for example, when we say kind. So the opposite or the, our, the other way around of the word kind means kind. And kind. Okay? So if you are kind, the, the other one is unkind. So it's the opposite of kind. So you know what is opposite now? Okay. Yeah. Another example. When you are lazy, the other one is? Hard working. Very good. So it's the opposite of lazy would be a hard working. Okay. When you are funny, the other one is? Serious. Serious. Very good. If you are generous, the other one is? Mean. Yes. Okay. Now, look at the photos here below. Do you know the characters? Who are the characters in this particular photos? Is yeah. it's person? So this one is, is this a, uh, what about this one? Do you know this one? You don't know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know either. Okay. <laughs> what, what kind of picture is this one? But of course, we can tell that the yellow picture here is a funny funny maybe a person is this a person no it's oh, what's this <laughs> a monster okay a funny monster shall we say and then the other one the green one is serious serious one okay so when you say funny you smile when you say serious you don't smile so it's the opposite of it okay and then what about this one is this particular teacher, maybe she's a teacher, is she funny or serious? She is serious. Very good. So she is serious. What's the opposite of serious again? Serious again. So serious the opposite of? It means not happy. And uh, when we're happy, we can say a lot of funny okay. things. Yeah, so serious, that's that's the that's the, the synonym of it. But when you say the opposite of it or the antonym of it is funny. Okay? Yes. Okay, so serious and the opposite or the antonym is funny. Okay? Yeah. Okay, again, serious and the opposite of serious is funny. Let's go back here. If you are kind, the opposite of kind is unkind. If okay. you are lazy, the opposite of lazy is hard working. So on and so forth. Okay, did you get it now? So when yes. we say opposite of adjectives, it's the other way around. Okay? Yes. So that is not the synonym because when we say synonym, 
it's the, the same in meaning. So what do we call this one when we say opposite? It's the antonym, okay? The opposite meaning means the antonym of it, okay? Yes. Okay, now we have here, I think he is, and they are, okay? So how do we use the word, I think he is? And then how do we use the words, they are? So we have an example here. Can you read, can you read it for me, please? I think he is or they are. Okay, I think she is. He is lazy. Lazy. And then the other one. I think Anna is kind. Okay. Now, when do we use the word I think now or I think he is? I think she is. Actually, the word he there describes a. When you say he. He, Meaning, it's the, the, it's a male, okay? It's he, a male. You are he, right? I am he because we are males. So, therefore, we have to use the word he. So, if it is a girl, we have to say she, she right? If it is an object, okay? If it is a thing, we have to say it, okay? So, in this particular sentences, I think she is lazy. I think Anna is kind. So we use this one in what? In telling that you think, okay? You think means you are you are telling a person about his or her character, okay? That that she is lazy. That Anna is kind. So we are giving a description to our noun. So the, the noun here is Anna. In this particular sentence, we, we don't have a noun, but instead of noun, it's a pronoun, she. Did yeah. you got it? Okay. Now, again, going back, uh, John, what do you think would be an opposite adjectives mean? Can you give me an example of it? I think. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, see, you use now the word I think, okay? I think, okay. I think uh, he is kind. Okay. So, the what what word is an adjective there when you say I think he is kind? So, what word is the adjective? Kind. Very good. So, what is the opposite of kind? It's um, unkind. Very good. See? So that is now what we mean by opposite adjectives. Is it clear now, John? Yes. Very good. Do you have questions before moving on to the next slide? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Now, yes. don't hesitate to ask questions with me or for uh from me huh if you do have a questions you just have to butt in you just have to raise your hand maybe or you can say excuse me teacher i have a question can you do that if you yeah. have a question okay so if you don't have any more questions let's move on to the other side okay now uh you can see here a lot of words, right? So we yeah. have the A. So this one, the, the white circle here represents an A. It's a column A. And then the other circle represents column B. Okay? So what's the direction? Can you read the direction? Much adjective in A with the opposites in B. Then listen and repeat. Okay, actually, I cannot open the audio, okay? So, I cannot open the audio here. So, we are just going to what? To use our feelings, okay? We just have to feel, oh, what do you think would be the opposite of this word, okay? So, let's try to find out now. Okay, which do you want to begin? What word would you like to begin? Can um, you choose... 
from the mean. A. Come again. Mean. Mean. Okay. So when we say mean, what does it mean? Okay. Mm. On the first slide, it was it was given there, right? Yes. Okay. So when we say mean, you know what's the meaning of it now, right? So it yes. be that is generous. Okay. Do we have a generous here in letter B? Yes. Yes. Very good. It's here. So that means when we say mean. It's a generous. So you know what is a generous means? No. Giver. Okay. Giver. Those who gives always of always gives you. That is a generous person. Let's say, for example, he has a slice of cake or a slice of cake, and then he is going to share it with you. So he becomes generous person. Okay. And then the opposite of it, meaning the other way around, when you say mean. He's not generous, okay? He's not giving something. That's why he's mean, okay? Can we consider the word mean as a bad person because he does he does not give? What do you think? <laughs> no. No, okay? Because these are just only a character. These are just only personality. So we do, we, we do not... Uh, call a person he's lazy maybe because that's his personality okay he he doesn't want to work maybe that's why he's lazy okay but he's not a bad person okay <laughs> do you do you have any questions no no okay so are you still with me yes yeah very good okay next word what do you think would be the opposite of honest Honest. Yes. Uh, it's dishonest. Very good. So if you are honest, you know what is honest means? Yes. Yeah. What does it mean? It means we say all the truth. Yes. So you are telling the truth most of the time. So you are honest. But the opposite of honest is dishonest, meaning you're not telling the telling truth. Everything. True. Very good. Okay. Next. Telling lies. Yeah. Yeah. Can can we get hard working here? Hard working? Yeah. So when I say hard working, what does it mean? That okay. means the opposite of hard working it, is not. We work a lot. It's yeah. lazy. Very good. Okay. So if you are hard working, the other person would be lazy. Okay. So the, the character or the personality of that person would be lazy. What about weak? Weak. Ah. Strong. Very good. Then this, the, 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 the next one, what word is this? Talkative. Talkative. Very good. Okay. Can you say it again? Talkative. That's right. So when you say talkative, what is the opposite of it? If, if, if the person is so talkative, so it's quiet. Okay. So she is quiet or he is quiet. And then the other one is talkative. Talkative means talking a lot. Quiet means, okay, those who are just going to talk limited, limited words. So that's quiet. When you say modest, what does it mean? Modest. Yes. The opposite of modest is? Okay. Okay. Arrogant. Okay. Arrogant. Yeah, it's arrogant. So if you are a modest person, the other one is arrogant. Okay. Yes. Now, when we say stupid, what do you think? Clever. Okay. Yes, because a clever person is not stupid. He is smart. Okay. When you say clever, when we say shy, what does it mean? Shy. It's Yes. I mean, we don't want it. Yeah, but what's the opposite of shy? Shy is... 
Mm, confident. Okay. Confident because the opposite of shy would be confident because this one is not confident. So the other one is he is confident. Okay. Funny. Oh, we've done this one. So when you say funny, you are serious. Ah, that's right. When you say polite, it's so when you, huh? Polite means means it's that we thank you or hello with a yes. Name. Okay, that but the opposite of it would be rude. Rude. Very good. How do we say it? Rude. Wow, okay. You, 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 you said it correctly, huh? Okay. Your English teacher before was good because she... Is it, is it a girl, your English teacher? How many English teachers do you have before? Mm. You do have a lot. <laughs> ah, you have four English teachers, oh, huh? Three. Oh, three. Okay. So they're good because they could uh, be able to teach you how to pronounce correctly. Okay. Okay. Next, when you say impatient. So if you are impatient, the opposite of being impatient is? Is patience. Patient. Very good. And then the last but not the least would be the word nice. So what's nice? Nice. Yeah. So the only the only word left there is is nasty. It's nasty. Or it's nasty. Okay. Okay. So now we already identified the different opposite adjectives, right? Okay. Yeah. Now at this point in time, I have to listen to you. Okay, speaking or um yeah, speaking the words. In here and in here. Can you do that? Okay. Can you say the words in letter A first? And then right after that one, you have to proceed here. Can you do that, John? Yes. Okay. Start now. I have to listen to you. Go. Mean, generous. Mean okay. Gen no, no. You just have to, to, to say the words here first, okay? Never mind the, the opposite of it, okay? So say the names first. Uh, so say the words first mean. here, okay? And then? Mean, honest, hardworking, weak, talkative, modest, stupid, shy, funny, polite, impatient, nice. Very good. Next. Uh, clever, quiet, quiet, not nasty, strong, serious, rude, generous, confident, dishonest, arrogant, lazy, patient. Very good. Okay, so you're 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 good in English, huh, John? Okay. Do you have questions, John? No. Very good. Okay, moving on. So next one would be, we are going to identify now what is the real meaning of adjective. So what's the real meaning of adjective? It means? An adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. Okay, going Jane back. Is... Yeah, okay. Continue. Jane is a clever girl. Yes. So when I say clever, it's an adjective and it describes Jane. Yes, very good. And therefore, when I say clever, it's a description of Jane and she is smart. Okay, that means clever. Okay, now, so going back to the definition of an adjective, right? So when we say adjective, it's the combination of the noun and pronoun because we do describe Noun and pronoun. When you say noun, what does it mean, John? Noun. Uh, yeah. Are you still, can you, can you still recall your lessons or lesson in noun? Mm. Noun? Yes. What are nouns? What is a noun? It's a noun. Yeah. 
What do you think? Because an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. So we have to discover first what is a noun. Okay, remember, nouns are names of persons, places, things, or an animals. Okay, remember that one, huh? So yeah. nouns are name of persons, places, things, or an animals. Okay, give me a name of a person, John. Mm. I mentioned it Peter. already. Okay, Peter. So Peter is a name of a person. Ah, okay, I hope you can still remember the so-called uh, uh, kinds of nouns. What are the kinds of nouns? Actually, we have two specific kinds of nouns. We have the common nouns and we have the proper nouns. Do you know what's the um, difference between the two? Between the two? Yes. Proper nouns are name of persons, which is proper. That means it starts with a capital letter. Okay? Yeah. Just like the, the one that you had mentioned a while ago, the, the, the name Peter. So Peter is a name of a person that is a proper noun, right? Because when you write the word Peter, it should start with a capital letter, okay? Because this one, the word Peter, is a proper name of a person. Now, when we say common nouns, these are nouns which are commonly used, such as, okay, such as son, such as daughter, such as siblings, okay, such as table. So we do have a lot of common nouns. Yes. Okay, John? <laughs> now, when we say pronoun, what does it mean now? Pronoun is... Replaces the nouns. Just the nouns. Yeah, so replaces the nouns. So when we say replaces the noun, when we say... Let's say, for example, the girl is dancing. So how are we going to replace the word girl uh, using the pronoun? So girl is a woman, right? So therefore, we have to say she is dancing. So the word she there is a pronoun. That's why pronoun or pronouns replaces the noun. Did you got it, John? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, going back to the adjective now. So, again, you have to remember an adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. In this particular example, Jane is a clever girl. So, the word clever is an adjective. Why? Because the word clever here describes Jane. Okay? <laughs> so you're sleepy. <laughs> what time is it in your in your country? It's just seven. Uh, seven o'clock here, eight o'clock. Actually I I I I I I uh, no. Four years ago I visited uh, Vietnam. Okay. I yes I went there once in Vietnam. Uh, so I'm 10 and four years ago, it means... Yeah, four years I ago. Know, and I doesn't know about Philippines. Oh, have you been here in the Philippines before? No. Oh, really? But you know Philippines? Yes, but... You now, heard, of, you heard but, a lot? But, yeah. but, but, yeah, but I, when I was six years old, I mm. don't know about Philippines. Oh yeah, okay. Because you, you are you are just on only six year old, okay. But now you know Philippines, right? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me? Can you tell me a description of the Philippines? Philippines <laughs> is uh, is Philippines is not uh, is smaller than Vietnam, right? Yeah, actually. Um, okay. It's not only a big, uh, a big, uh, a big flat. It is mm -hmm. um, a lot of different, different, what, different. 
flood, but this. Yeah, it's a flooded, actually, it's a flooded regions here in the Philippines. Okay. And then, aside from that, what's, what's the description that you know about Philippines? Okay, you're going to type it. Let me see. Hmm, Philippines. Okay, we, we are using, we are using description, huh? So, how do you describe, okay, this is, this is, this is a question, how do you describe Philippines? Okay. Or, I have to oh, change, guess, so that oh, you can I be guess. able to say a lot of things. How do you, how do you describe Vietnam? Okay. So I hope you can you can give me a lot of things when they say how do you describe Vietnam? Okay, in the chat box, can you answer them? How do you describe Vietnam? Describe Vietnam. Vietnam yes. is bigger, a little bigger than Philippines, and okay. Philippines is a lot of flat. And Vietnam is uh, has the S shape, right? Okay, and then. Yeah, the letter S. The shape is yeah. the letter S. What about and what about the cultures of the Viet Vietnam people or the Vietnamese people? People uh, when uh, when thirty four, uh, oh, no, no when uh, when the thirty when the thirty of uh, of of April. Mm -hmm. To thirty of April. You are going to celebrate. All the home in Vietnam will have the have the Vietnam flag on their own house. Yes, okay, because you are celebrating the what? I, I mentioned there on my chat, right? So you are celebrating the so-called what what yes. what what do we call that? Just like this one. That's the Vietnam. Reunification Day or the International Workers Day. That's why you are going to have an off. Okay? And we will back on when on May 2. So you are going to take off for about two days. Then after that, you are going to go, uh, you are going to uh, resume your class on May 2. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So that is vietnam very good okay so moving on now i have to share with you again my screen so i hope you can see this one can you see that yes okay very good okay moving on now so this are now the description of an adjectives so we can be able to describe about the color we can be able to describe about the size, the shape, and the taste. So what are the descriptions using a color? Of course, a lot, those colors that we are using could be a description. Therefore, we can say that's an adjective. All of the sizes, we can say that's an adjective. All the shapes and all the taste can be an adjective, right? Okay, yes. let's say for example, what's the color of your hair? Uh, triangular. Oh, what's the color of your hair? Uh, purple. Okay, purple. Your your hair is purple, okay? <laughs> Why? <laughs> your hair is purple? No. Okay, well, again, what's the color of your hair? It's black. Black, very good, okay? So never mind, okay? So black is the color of your hair. Okay, what is your favorite color, John? It's my favorite color. Blue. It's blue, very good. Why blue is your favorite color? Because it's hard to describe. <laughs> it's hard to describe? Uh, I suddenly like it. Yeah, you just like it, so you can't Not describe everything. it, okay? Because, okay, when I say blue, because blue is not so uh, uh, hurting on your eyes. Not unlike with the red one, because it, uh, it, it hurts your eyes, okay? That's why, uh, actually, I like blue too. 
Okay? Yeah, so I like blue too. So yeah, we have the same and color. I and I don't like black and brown. Yeah, okay. Me too. I don't, I don't like br uh, black. Because here in the Philippines, when you say black, that means um, you have a dead uh, relatives if you're going to wear a black, black color. Okay? What about there in your country? Black represents if you what? See a black cat. Uh huh. You will get a uh, bad luck for. Oh, yeah, we're the same. We're the same. Um, that is what we call belief. You right? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're the same. If you if you if you be able to um, meet a black cat, so you will going to have a bad luck. Okay, it's a sign of bad luck. So we have the same belief also here in the Philippines. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So again, when we say size, we can say big, we can say small, we can say short, large, so on and so forth. Okay. And then shape also, we can say oval, it's oblong, it's round, the square, so on and so forth. And then the taste. What's the taste? You can say bitter, okay? Now, uh, have you eaten a bitter food or a bitter vegetable? Hmm? John? Yes. You know what is a bitter? You know what is bitter? Peter is a person's name. Ah, no, it, that's Peter, okay? But when you say bitter, just like this one, bitter. Yes. Okay, actually, we had this kind of vegetable that is a bitter melon. So it's bitter. The taste is bitter. So that's why it's uh, included here when we say taste because it's bitter. Okay, now you know what is a sweet taste? Tangy. What is tangy? Tangy, meaning. Um, it's not so sweet. It's not also too uh, too sour. So it's tangy, okay? And then a tart means it could be sweet, okay? Yeah. So sweet particularly would be just like sugar. Sugar is sweet, right? And then when you say sour, when you say sour, have you tasted the, 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 the taste sour? Okay, meaning it's not sweet. It's a sour, okay? And then bitter. So a lot of... A lot of taste, a lot of shapes, a lot of sizes, and a lot of colors. And these are all adjectives. Okay? Yes. Okay, do you have questions before moving on? <laughs> okay, moving on now. So, here are now 25 adjective sentences. Actually, the red one would be an adjective. So I want you to read all the sentences, John. Could it be okay? I should have to listen to you. And then you just have to tell me after reading, let's say for example, you have to say, the beautiful sun was setting in the sky. Adjective, beautiful. Can you do that? Read all of it. Okay. Let's say for example, uh, after reading, you have to say, Beautiful is an adjective, okay? Let's say, for example, the beautiful sun was yes. setting in the sky. Beautiful. So you have to tell me that, okay? Okay, start with number two. The new car is very fast. Okay. Fast is an fast. adjective. Yeah, next. He is a very kind person. Correct. Kind is an adjective. Okay. This soup is very hot. Okay. Hot is an adjective. Okay. America is a very is a big country. Big is an adjective. Okay. I have a small dog. The dog is an adjective. Mm -hmm. Are you sure the dog is actually this one is wrong? Because because okay. Me too. Too. Um, I said. Oh, what? Okay, <laughs> we should have to correct, huh? Sometimes, sometimes it's it's not correct, so we should have to correct. So, what do you think would be the adjective there? Small. Small. Very good. So there's 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 an error when it comes to this. Okay, next. 
Your house is very old. Old is an adjective. Okay. The shirt is too tight. Very good. Tight is the adjective. I am very tired. Mm -hmm. Tired is the adjective. Okay. It's very cold outside. Cold is an adjective. Okay. The room is very small. Okay. Small is an adjective. Okay. It was very fun. Fun is okay. an adjective. Okay. I am not very happy today. Okay. Happy is an adjective. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> this speech was very boring. Okay. Is boring is an adjective. Yeah. The project is very difficult. Difficult is a adjective. Okay. I am very thirsty. <laughs> so you're thirsty now. <laughs> okay. Thirsty. Okay. Next. Lucy is an adjective. Okay. She is very pretty. Pretty. Okay. Pretty. Pretty. Yeah, that's it. Adjective. The concert was very loud. Mm -hmm. That is an adjective. Okay. The movie was very sad. <laughs> that makes you cry <laughs> because it's sad. <laughs> okay. So sad would be the adjective. adjective. Okay. Next. I am very happy today. Why you're you're happy? <laughs> oh, you never mind. Okay, continue, on, John. <laughs> Happy is a uh, adjective. That dress is very pretty. Okay, pretty. Okay, pretty next. Okay. It's very interesting. Interesting uh, adjective. Okay. A pen is very cheap. Cheap mm -hmm. is an adjective. The table is very big. Okay. The table is very big. And then big. the chair. The chair is very small. small. Okay. Now, except for the number six because number six is not the correct answer the dog is not an adjective here because the dog is a noun so what describes a dog it's small okay so the adjective here is a small one now what have you observed in this particular particular words the one which is um um marked red so what do you think Okay, of course, these are all adjectives. Aside from these are all adjectives, what do you think? Okay, going back again, do we use color there? Okay, do we have colors here? We don't have, okay. Do we use size here? We don't have. Do we use shapes in there? We don't have. And do we use here taste? Yes, I heard some taste here. Okay, mostly are are adjectives characteristics or the so-called personalities, right? So just like beautiful, okay, kind, yeah, okay. Then so on and so forth. Okay, question, John. No. Okay. Very good. Now, moving on now. So, actually, we are about to listen a dialogue, but we cannot open this one. I am going to uh, maybe present to you next meeting, of course, the, 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 the audio I have to, to um, what do you want to fix first the audio, and then we can be able to listen that one next meeting, okay? Okay, so, of course... Uh, in listening this one, we can be able to what? We can be able to match an adjective in the box with each person in the table. So what do you think would be the adjective that can be used with Martha? So we don't know because we 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 uh, the, the the audio is cannot be open, okay? Yeah. So, what do you think would be for Ryan? Do you have a copy with this one, Ryan? Uh, uh, John, do you have a copy of a PowerPoint presentation and uh, the materials? Do you have a copy or you don't have? Yes, I have a copy. Ah, very good. So, you were able to study them? Not yet. Uh, yes, I can open them. Oh, really? Okay. Can you open the audio? Do you have an audio in it? 
or you don't have? We have this, we have the same. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think the audio has something. Uh, it's it's not working. Okay, can you try? Mm, I, do you know, do you know I how to open. do you know how to open. open it? I can't open it. Ah, okay. Oh, never mind. So I I, I am just going to uh, do something about it later. Okay. Okay. So now these are now the what the adjectives in its particular person. So we can say that Martha is generous. Generous. Okay? Yes. Brian is impatient. Sam mm. is arrogant. And then Julie is lazy. Okay? So all of this, again, are characteristics or personalities of a person. Okay? And these are all called an adjective. Okay? Oh, it's very easy for you to understand that. Okay, so we have here a mind map. So what's the what's the um, the direction? List personality adjectives following the map below. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, John. Look at this one. So here in the oblong part is the personalities. And then here, lazy. And this lazy. one is a hard working. Okay. So when we say lazy, it's a thumbs down. <laughs> when we say hard working, it's a thumbs up. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next one. Time for fun. Time for fun. <laughs> so can you can you differentiate or can you find here the following words? Mm, confident. Or though about confident, do we have confident there? Where do you think we can yeah. find word? Find the word C first. Okay. Confident. Shy is there already. So does the word shy is there? So what about confident? Mm -hmm. We can we can also find like this, or maybe it's up. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, wait. Confident, hard working. Have you able to find it? Huh? Not yet. <laughs> I can't. I can't also find even one. Oh, I find it there. We have patient. Do we have patient? Yeah, we have number five. Have you found it? Yes. Okay, on top, on top. Okay, this one. P A impatient. Okay, impatient. Yeah. So there is an impatient. So now when I say patient, that's the the opposite is impatient, right? So we have the word impatient. We can also say patient, right? Oh, I I I found funny too. Okay, what is that? Uh find the letter. F on the left. Okay. Where I, is it? Uh, is it on the upper part or in the lower part? On the up on the. What on word the, is that? What word is that? F F F F. 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 E I S. A friend. E. Okay. Friendly and also. Friendly. Yeah. F, friendly. F, friendly. Yeah, and then where is the word funny? Funny, where funny, or you are you? With that, with that F. Okay. With that F, uh, F, start with friendly. Friendly, friendly, and then it's, ah, uh, yeah, here, down, okay? So yeah. this one, line, okay, then after that, in the F, that's funny. Very good. Then there, what else? Mean. Where is the mean? Mm. I hear, I uh, know. No, no, not, not, not. Okay. E -A. So where is it? It's hard okay. to find. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So serious. So serious. Where are you? It's here. So soft. No, not. 
Okay, quiet, quiet. Where's the Q? It's Q do you hear? Oh, no, it's not quiet. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard to find. So how many words we found it? So impatient, patient, shy. Okay, and then we have friendly. We have funny. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have four words already. Oh, I found, I found kind. Where? Next to, next to your uh, K, 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 next to the K, letter it's the K. K. Is it above or down? Down, Here? down, 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 down. Down, oh. down there. Is it yeah. a kind? Yeah, the kind is there, okay? So we have the Oh, word. I found another kind too. Where? <laughs> the K on, a, on the middle. In the middle. It's letter K in the middle. So in I the have... Middle, uh, yes, 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 almost, almost. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, the, where, 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 the K? It's here? It's, it's like this. It's like this. It's Is it in the middle? Is it in the yes. middle? Uh, okay. Next to, what? next to, next to, next to it. Ah, uh, yes. And then. Ah, is it, is it, ah, uh, 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 yeah, here, okay? <laughs> very good. Okay, you have a very, very bright eyes huh? <laughs> you can able to see that okay so we we found the word kind we have two kinds so kind one then kind two okay next, next. Mm -hmm. next is confidence that one where is <laughs> con is it this one is con con not not, not it. Not it. Where? Is it in the middle? Is it above? Is it below? I didn't found it. Con. Confident. Confident. Confidently Con beautiful. Where is it? <laughs> it's hard to find. Wait. Me. Okay. Not so we can say, uh, so it's impossible, yeah. Wait, pa, can, 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 serious. can, can, serious. Ser no, serene. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Near. Near. Okay. So it's hard to find, right? So we have how many words uh, we found? One, shy, because it's given. And then friendly, that's two. Patient, that's three. Impatient, that's four. Kind, that's five. And then another kind that's six. So we have only six words. Mm. Okay. So what's the direction? The direction would be find the opposites of this personality. So we when we say kind, it's the opposite of and kind. That's correct. So when we say friendly, it's the opposite of and friendly. That's word correct. So the opposite of shy, that means shy. Mean, uh, Do we have an opposite of the word shy? Shy is con uh, confident. Okay, so do we have it here? We don't have, okay. Confident. Ah, confident. yeah, confident is number one. Okay, we have here, so. And then what's the opposite of... Uh, oh, we don't have any more, okay? <laughs> I cannot find the others, okay? <laughs> okay, so... Um, John. Okay, so it's about it's about time for me to say goodbye. Okay, now we are going to wrap up things now. Okay, so when we say wrap up, we are going to go back again to the first uh, topic or uh, that we had discussed. So what are the topics that we had able to discuss now? 
John, starting from from the very beginning, yes, yeah, starting from the vocabulary, we had able to study about vocabularies, right? What are those vocabularies that you um, that, uh, that you've serious. mastered now? Okay. Funny, yeah. generous, okay. neat, and kind, kind. Yeah. So we have we do have a lot, right? So what do we call those words? What do we call those words? Mean, honest. These are these are what? Add adjectives. adjectives. Very good. So in, in an adjectives, we have to remember that we have the so-called opposite. Okay. Uh, in other term, the word opposite would be antonym. When we say synonym, the same meaning. But in this particular uh, topic that we are um, studying now would be the opposite of the words so opposite of the adjectives or uh, opposite adjectives that means it's the other way around okay yeah okay then aside from that we had able to have an activity what kind of activity are those huh you had able to to read a lot of sentences right yes. then you were able to identify a lot of adjectives except for Number six, because number six is not correct. But ex uh, aside from number six, all of those are correct, okay? And then aside from that, we're able also to identify the different um, characteristics or different personalities of the people mentioned here. Martha, Ryan, Sam, and Julie. Okay, so what's their characteristics now? So Martha... Okay, for a while. Okay, Martha is generous. Ryan is impatient. Sam is arrogant. And Julie is lazy. Now, for the last time, uh, John, can you say these words for me? Number one. Generous. Impatient. Arrogant. Lazy. Okay, very good. Now, for your assignment, John, is it okay if I'm going to give you an assignment? Assignment? Yeah, assignment or homework. Could it be okay if I'm going to give you a homework? No, I I just have to type that one on the on the chat box, okay? Yes. Okay, it's just very very simple assignment. Never never stress yourself with this particular assignment because I am going to um, I am going to let you um, make a sentence with an adjective in it. So five sentences with an adjective in it. So I just have to type that one on the chat box. Okay? Yes. Okay. Do you have questions? No. Very good. So if you don't have any more questions, next meeting we are about to continue our lesson. So we are near the end of our lesson. Okay? Okay. So, yeah. if you don't have any more questions, thank you so much for your time, John. We'll see you again next meeting, okay? It's going to be on starting on May 2 oh. because we don't have classes this coming Saturday, right? Yes. Okay. So, thank you so much for your time again. Have a nice day. Have a nice evening, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Bye.